number one to jump street. Who gave it? Do not get expelled. Nobody in the system knows you're here, all right? Nobody. You get kicked out of school, your monkey ass is getting kicked out of jump street. Rule number two, burns. Do not have sexual relations with students or teachers, sir. You hear that? That's you. Don't do it, man. Well, keep that dirty dick in your pants. Don't fuck no students. Don't fuck no teachers. Sir, I know we come off as a couple of lady killers, but I promise you we will be super professional on the job. Clearly I wasn't talking to you, big titties. You cherub-looking motherfucker. I was talking to your partner over here. Fake-ass, handsome McGee. When I'm talking to him, I'm talking to him. When I say shut the fuck up, I'm talking to you. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be talking about the Alacrity DPS role and some of my favorite builds in the current meta to fill this role. And to start with, we are going to cover the all-time favorite classic original Alacrity provider, excluding the Chronomancer, the Renegade. The Condition Damage Renegade hasn't really changed. It is the same build essentially as the old DPS Condi Renegade, except you take the trait Righteous Rebel. Um, it, it is a very punishing rotation. The main issue with this is that if the boss moves around a lot or you mess up your rotation or you mess up the order in which you are changing weapons or your legend then you are going to be punished severely for it and with that that's the main reason why this class has kind of fallen off it is still a very viable class it still has very high dps uh the full ritualist gear that you need to run while you are using this build is pretty much pretty much the same between the ritualist variant and the full condi dps variant so that's why you don't really see uh the renegade as a condi dps anymore is because it's kind of the only real viable build for this elite spec in my opinion is the alacrity dps version of it now the power dps alacrity is pretty dated in comparison to the newer uh, alacrity specs the power alacrity uh, Re renegade was the standard for a long time in uh, instance content and it's basically the same build except you take devastation over corruption and then you run the you run diviner's gear so you run the same gear as you would run on a quickness dps herald to some extent and it is still very reliable. I think that the main difference between the two, the power and the condi, is your damage is gonna be pretty significantly lower on the power variant, and your utility is gonna be a lot higher. So with the condi variant, you're kind of locked into uh, Malix and Kala for your legends. With the power variant, you can take um dwarf and use a lot of stability so it, it ends up making a lot of the encounters a lot easier um for your team even if your dps is pretty low so i think that the renegade is still a pretty viable class as far as an alacrity dps it is a very reliable class when providing alacrity for your team um, the DPS numbers could be increased, especially with the amount of power creep that is in the game, but I still have this as one of my favorite classes. The next class that I want to talk about is the Power Alacrity Mechanist. The Power Alacrity Mechanist, in my opinion, is probably the most reliable build for new players to play. For the most part, it is very boring because the rotation is very simple. You just camp rifle. You have very high DPS uptime because you can just shoot the boss from anywhere. Um, you have good boon strips with throw mine. And essentially the only thing you really need to worry about is making sure that your mech is with you on the group. And you do that by essentially using shift signet to move your mech onto the group whenever you guys ball up after spread phases or split phases or, or anything like that in those encounters. So always 
just use your shift signet, get your mech right on top of the blob, and then use your alacrity skills and you can get very high alacrity uptime. Uh, the DPS is very consistent. I usually run around 15k on most encounters and I feel like that is pretty standard. So with that, the Alacrity Mechanist is one of my favorites, especially in complicated encounters, and it is also one of my favorites when I don't feel like tryharding. There is a mix of Berserkers and Diviners gear with Scholar Runes for this build, and it is just, like I said, a very easy class to play, and it is a very reliable class to play. And so that is why whenever I see, I, I kind of make fun of it in some of my videos, but it is a very good spec and a very good build for this end game group content. And last but certainly not least is the Condi Alak Spectre. The Spectre is kind of an unpopular class to play. I don't know if that's just because there's not a lot of Thief players that play, but it is a very good build. It is extremely heavy on CC, on group support, has high damage, and with that, it just comes with a slightly complicated relate, uh, rotation with how you provide your alacrity. For the most part, the, the weapon rotation is very simple. You just spam your initiative with your Scepter 3, and then you get into shroud as often as possible and all of your shroud skills provide alacrity um, i've had a lot of success with this build in the end game cm fractals it is probably my favorite class to play in 100 cm of the silent surf and it is just it it has a lot of utility uh its shroud is like reaper shroud where you can use it to tank attacks so if you find yourself low on life and you're going into a phase that is is a, a health check or a healing check you can use your shroud to tank that for you and so it is definitely a class that i am still learning but it is one of the ones that i've had a lot of fun with recently so with that it is essentially full ritualist gear i know that you can min max it to uh, get higher damage but for the most part, with the kind of tight rotation on getting into Shroud and the lower boon radius for your Shroud skills uh, affecting your allies, it is very important that you have adequate boon duration. But like I said, it is a very fun class. You can get very high damage out of it as well, just like the Condition Damage Renegade, except I feel that the rotation is a lot more forgiving and you kind of have more on demand with your CC, with your group support. You'll see that in some of these uh, highlight clips, I am uh, using my Scepter Auto Attack on my allies to kind of help pad th their damage and give whatever support I can. And I found that, especially if you are planning on doing no healer runs, and stuff like that, then the Condiolac Spectre is a good class for that. If you made it this far, I want to thank you so much. I know that there is a little gap in my uploads. I plan on remediating that in the future. I have a couple of videos that I would like to do. I want to highlight the Heal Herald coming up. So if you would like to see that video, uh, please subscribe, drop a like, uh, drop a comment. Let me know which Alacrity is your favorite. I know that there are a lot of them. There is Willbender, there's Alac Mirage, there is Alacrity Necro, Alacrity Tempest, uh, and then a whole slew of Alacrity healers. Um, I just kind of focus on the Alacrity DPS and I want to focus it's more on the quickness healers. I know that there's essentially two of them, three if you count heal scrapper, which is not really one of my favorites, but with the upcoming patch in November, we should have a heal chronomancer coming out. And I'm really excited to kind of cover that, flesh out those builds, theory craft a little bit and see how they fit into the meta. So, once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. 
and I will catch you all next time.